Welcome back guys. I got some uh, new products here on my radar from black and white fire starter so we're gonna check these things out and uh, see how they turn out so stay with me. Awesome, glad you guys uh, hung out. So, you know, in uh, full disclosure, of course, these products were sent to me by the owner of Black and White Fire Starter to show you guys. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, it won't be a honest, honest review. You know, if it's uh, not any good, you'll find out. And I'm not concerned with that actually it uh knowing what i know about starting fires and such it all seems pretty legit so anyway i do believe he sent me a sample pack um of course he does run an etsy store mr outdoorsy is the name and i will put a link to it of course in the comments every time i put it in the description it doesn't seem to quite link it right so I'll pin it in the comments, but, uh, you know, first off, one thing I can say is his prices are excellent. I don't even know how he can keep his prices so low, but they're great prices. It's all, you know, made in America products, and from what I understand, he, you know, makes these himself. So, well worth checking out. And uh, we'll kind of go through this stuff, you know, individually, and uh, then we'll do a test run on it. So it's probably going to probably gonna take a little while, but I'll try to cut out everything I can. So let's go ahead and do the run through on it real quick here. We'll just start with this right here. And that's what he's calling the Fire Fuzz XR. And that looks to me like a cotton ball that's been dipped in beeswax. So we'll make sure and check that out. And then we've got the uh, whoops. we've got the wood tender blend, and you can see that's just a blend of uh, some wood chips and I don't know. I can't tell what all's in there. I haven't opened it yet, so. We'll be testing it out together. And here's some uh, little sticks there. You can chop up, shave up, you know, however you'd like to do it. 100% beeswax candle. Looks nice. This here is called the black sheep. Okay, and it looks like it's some treated jute twines, what it looks like, but we'll uh, we'll pull it all out, like I said, and get a better look at it. And this here is just like a little uh, fire starting cup there. Like I said, we'll pull that out and get a better look too. Everything we'll we'll get it all out here some old school it is called tin size fire starter and these are some little thin little thin sticks which i'm sure work great this was just an empty tube i assume to uh you know put your own tinder whatever you want to put in it also sent some uh little box of matches and also one of these little uh whistle ferro rod combo deals which those are actually really cool i've uh, showed those before so we'll we'll show that again and also this really cool tin and uh a lot of this stuff was in this tin you know to start with but that's a really cool tin so 
let me get this cleared off and we'll go ahead and get started on opening some of this up all right let's uh let's take a look at this first here you can kind of see and i'll get it out of the bottle here once we're ready to light it up but this is the wood tender blend you can see it kind of has some chips in it as well as some fine kind of it almost looks like wax treated wood chips I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is or not but and then here's the uh the other deal Let's see here you can see it looks like it almost has maybe some wax in it with some almost looks like coal interesting to see and then of course your uh, looks like I said like some treated jute twine or something there we'll try that out and there's your stick there that's treated your beeswax candle the little uh, tin size piece which like I said is pretty thin and then your uh, looks like beeswax cotton ball which they <laughs> Most of these things smell like lighter fluid, so I don't think we're going to have much trouble getting this stuff going. But, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and readjust things here, and we will get some stuff trying here. First, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the fire fuzz there. Now, when using these little uh, whistle ferrule rods that was provided in this kit it's very important to take that and make sure you're using there it is using the right the correct side of it you can feel that one side's a little bit grabby and the other side isn't so first of course got to remove your coating there we go now I didn't do anything with this, I just pulled it straight out of the package and we're going to see if it can light up without doing any kind of preparation to it or anything. There it is, perfect. Started right up, no sweat. I'm just going to let that go and see, see what it does without preparing it. All right, it's still going, but okay. So it looks like you're gonna need to prepare it up a little bit, at least. Kind of fluff that up a little, you know. It's nice and uh, fluffy. It's not the all hard. I kind of thought it would be all hard. It isn't. It's nice. So we'll just kind of do one of those numbers to it. Just kind of fluff that up like that. Get our ferro rod back out. There we go. Much better. And we'll just let that burn.
that was a good long burn time still just a hair left on that one I kind of missed there but we're not going to worry about that that was a good long burn um, that would be more than sufficient to get some wet wood going I would say so next let's go ahead and get out our uh, our little twine here and then of course as with pretty much any fire starter you're gonna have to kind of get it broke up and ready to go you know it's not gonna usually burn very well just the way it is and this was a small piece here this was only I don't know a two inch piece or so all right now I've got it all broke up there in a little pile this time let's go ahead and try a match on it that was provided a bad little burn for like I said how small of a piece we had there and of course you can see we do have wind blowing so that's gonna affect things yeah nice all right let's go ahead and get that out there next we'll go ahead and we'll go with our old school our 10 size fire starter and for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break it up a little bit here first. Oh yeah, nice and easy. No sweat. Break it up just a tiny bit here. Just so it'll be a little closer to what it's really like and then take this piece here and we'll shave some off oh wow yeah nice This stuff cuts and feathers up nice. All the uh, shavings want to stick together. I guess that's a good thing. Of course, my work tough gear, Red Wolf, great knife. Get all that up there. Yeah, that stuff feathered up great. All right. Now then, let's just see. Got one of these little slivers here. I just want to light it with a lighter, kind of like a matchstick in a way, just to see what it does. Oh, look at that. This stuff.
This stuff burns great. Yeah, this stuff is definitely a winner. On this pile, let's go ahead and uh, try our Four Directions Bushcraft ferro Rod here. Oh, got it. No sweat. Yeah, pretty well done. There's still a little bit more in there, but that's all right. Yeah, this stuff works great. Now, let's go ahead and check this stick out. And I'm sure, you know, you could probably put a flame to it long enough that it would uh, light the whole thing. But as we normally do, let's... Uh, Bust a little off there. Looks good. Do the same thing, just kind of toothpick it up. Then on this larger piece, the same same procedure. pieces fly off. Let's get those back in. this one obviously I didn't uh, didn't try pulling you know scraping any shavings I just want to try it try it like that same thing we'll use our ferro rod provided there we are Nothing to it. Man, this stuff burns great, guys. This is uh, definitely a good fire starter. And you all know how big of a proponent I am for fat wood. This is, uh, you know, this is going to be every bit as good. Maybe even better, honestly. It. It lights really easy and it processes really easy <clears throat> I mean it's easy enough to process with your hands
and you can see I didn't use a lot of that stick you know we still have a bunch of that stick left All right, that's a pretty good burn. Pretty good burn. This this is good stuff here, guys. It really is. Now, let's just see how waterproof any of this stuff is. I'm pretty sure it is, but let's try it out. Got us a little glass of water here. Make some room for it. There we are. That'll work. All right, well, we got us a little piece of the jute twine here. Get it in the water there. And you can see it's dripping water, so let's just give it a good, good little shake off there. And then as same as before, just kind of try to unwind it a little bit here. There we are. Same thing. Use the ferro rod provided. And let's see how well it works. There it is. I was going to say it would help if I would hit it. All right. Another good one. I didn't expect to have any issues. Now let's try one of the fuzz. Soak it in the water. All right, that thing is really soaked. You can see all the water. Just gonna kinda give it a squeeze, just kinda wring it out a little bit. And then same thing as before. Let's uh, tear it up a little bit, get some of that exposed in there. All right. See what happened. Look at that. First strike, no problem.
well gone there. That was awesome. Sopping wet, wringing water out of it, sparked right up first try, no problem. I almost forgot the wood tender blend here. I had it setting off to the side and almost forgot it. I won't even give it a try. It just kind of looks like a lot of the uh, pieces, you know, just kind of chopped up, ready to go for you. Try to get some of this little fuzzier stuff out. Yeah, that right there. Perfect. Okay. Pretty good little pile of that. And again, we'll go ahead and use the uh, ferro rod provided. See if the wind doesn't blow everything away on us. It's alright. Here we go. Okay. I think the wind might be getting us a little bit here. It's all right. Let's go for a match this time. Why not? It did spark to begin with, but then... And it went out but there we go no problem could easily use a uh, lighter or anything like that All right, wow, in conclusion, guys, this uh, black and white fire starter is an excellent product. Uh, highly, highly recommend it. I think my favorite out of all of it was the fire fuzz there, the, uh, the cotton balls with the, <sighs> appears to be beeswax and such on it. Those, uh, those worked great. I mean, you saw they were waterproof. They had a really long burn time. You know, very little preparation involved. Just a great, outstanding product. I am uh, definitely satisfied with, uh, with the uh, performance of this. And like I said, this was provided, you know, to me by Black and White Firestarter. But, uh, I mean, the you know the video speaks for itself you know it uh, is a great product and uh, also you know support your small businesses which is exactly what this is um, you know he didn't say but I would imagine you know he's putting this stuff together himself by hand you know this isn't coming out of some factory in China so highly recommended guys uh like i said i'll leave the link to his etsy store in the comments below you know uh, check him out and uh help support you know our brothers and sisters in uh in the country that need our help thanks for stopping by and checking this out guys hope you all enjoyed it see you in the next one